Hello everyone, this is your favorite Falcon Bob back at you another video review and tonight we're looking at the Transformers Legacy Evolution or United or whatever they want to put them under medics. I'm confused because he has multiple histories. First he was released before Legacy, released during Legacy, and now he's Legacy United slash Evolution. So yeah, I don't know what the full-on history is, but it is a weird one with him. But getting a close-up on that detailing, very nice uh, silver for the bumper in that gunmetal silver. Some nice orange with lime green, especially on the top of that nice Autobot symbol. Overall, he's kind of plain, but I mean, it's some sort of emergency vehicle. He's got the stripes, so I mean, there you go. I don't know what type of emergency vehicle he's really supposed to be because it does not look like an off-roader to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but for as far as accessories go, he comes with his light bar that you can just plug in up the top and give complete the look. Then he comes with his three guns. He comes with Skids' gun. Very nice. And both of Alita's uh, guns as well. So, yeah. And to store them, you can just, what I personally do is I take the bigger gun, I plug the two smaller guns into the 5 millimeters on the side, and I just plug them on top. So, but you can, you do you, there's multiple different ways, the Lita's guns have, you know, 5 millimeter ports, pegs, same thing with skids, so I mean, your imagination's the limit along with what you think looks good. So, yeah. Just you can know, plug it on top of here if you want. You can plug it on to the back, you know, back here on either side. So, yeah. Now, the one complaint I have about the all mode is it does not like to stay together. As you can see, I got that panel gap on kind of both sides. And I can't, no matter how much squeezing I do, no matter what I try to do, this panel, one of these panels pops out. And then they just don't, yeah, they just don't stay. But, anyways, for size comparison, he, here he is with a side swipe. A very nice figure, you know, about the size of your typical deluxe. So, yeah. Oh, and one more accessory is technically his front grill is an accessory. And I'll reveal that interesting detailing. Interesting for a while, at least. But, yeah. Anyways, so let's go into that transformation. So, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the guns, set them off to the side. And start off with we want to flip up the panels on the sides <clears throat> then we want to pull up while pulling down pull down on the legs pull up on this to untab it you know there's two tabs i will go into two can't really see them but two slots right up in here so and then just go ahead and straighten it out flip in the back wheels and just go ahead and flip up the shins, split the legs, and there we go. Got that done. Let me zoom. Let me. Oop. Okay. Stuff does not want to cooperate with me tonight. Okay. So, next, you want to go ahead and unpeg the arms. They peg in right here at that top notch into that port. So, you want to go ahead and just kind of get it out. And, and it double hinges out, so there you go. Then you want to take the whole pelvis area, extend that down, and then flip down the legs so that way you get them fully standing. Then you want to go ahead and flip down the chest area. And in this one, you can kind of do whatever you want. You can leave it down, you can leave it down, up, whatever you want. But just get the arms sorted, and there you go. You have him in his robot mode. It's not an overall bad robot mode. Yeah. Cleans up kind of okay. I mean, it's got a, a backpack, but shh, it's his ba a backpack of medically stuff. Because <laughs> it's medics. So, But yeah, for articulation, he does have a ball-jointed head. So, But you can only get 360 on the head. Kind of get side to side. Nothing much else. As far as the arms, he got 360. You got in and out right here. And if you use this joint, you kind of get a little bit 
Not much, but still a little bit. He's got bicep swivel. He's got elbow bend at 90 degrees. He's got wrist rotation. He's got waist rotation as well. Legs can move forward on a stiff joint. Up that far. Back that far. This does not like to stay down. Out. Eh, not too far. I mean, not at the full 90 because of the sculpt right there. He's got 90 degrees of bend at the knee and full ankle tiltage. So, yeah. Now, as far as his weaponry goes, you can, and I like to unplug it anyways, unplug it and get that nice. Now, this is where the detailing does look nice. So, but for this one, you just want to go ahead and flip this down and around. And there you have Crankcase's weapon. Let him give him to that. Then you, if we want, you can flip these up. It will kind of soft that in place. And these tabs right, right here will go into the slots right up in here. Just to kind of hold it in place. Then you can flip down these. Ever, just be gentle. So that way they look natural. So I'm not going to fill them too much. Then you can also take all these weapons and do whatever you want plug them in all but yeah um this guy is supposed to be a healer i thought i mean i get it ratchet has weapon has a weapon this guy has one two three four five six weapons this guy is not gonna save he's gonna save you like really save you and protect <laughs> but yeah and for a quick size comparison, here we have G2 Sideswipe, and, you know, eh, kind of works. I mean, he's looks a little bit more bulky for a deluxe than, you know, Sideswipe, but, you know, this kind of works. Now, overall, final thoughts-wise, this figure is decent. I do have my issues with alt mode. Robot mode is fine. I just don't understand all the guns, because last I checked, he was a medic. Thus, his name, Medics. But, um, at least you know you won't die by a Decepticon. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, that comes to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time for another video review.